Deconverted Man here. As you know, I'm a fan of informal logic and skepticism. I am a skeptic. I doubt things. That's kind of what I do. It could be anything that I could doubt. Uh, I choose theism as my primary target because I know a little bit about my own religion and I studied it enough to convince myself that it wasn't true. Now I could have missed something, I could have been misinformed, but what I need now is data to refute what I found and or a logically coherent argument to prove that I'm wrong. And so far, nobody has given me that, so I get to continue to be skeptical about claims about God. Okay. Fair enough, right? We're all on the same page. Now it's time when you start disagreeing with me. <laughs> And I know you, I, I suspect that you will, because this is a polarizing topic. <clears throat> Men's rights, women's rights, feminism, anti-feminism. Huge topic on YouTube. I got fed up with it. Tried to make a video talking about it. Tried to make another video talking about it. Deleted those videos and made another video trying to talk about it. And still wasn't satisfied with it because I was the responses I got really frustrated me. More on that in a bit. I my stance is we should be aiming for a society that is equal across the board. That does not take gender, age, religion, lack of religion, ethnicity, amount you've earned in your life, uh, etc. into consideration for how you're treated. If you commit assault on somebody, you get the same treatment as anyone else would that commits assault on somebody. That's not the society we have, but I'd like that to be the society that we create. Someday, if not today. I might never live to see it, but I would like for that to happen. The feminists on YouTube, by and large, have offered zero evidence and no logical argument for their side. The anti-feminists on YouTube are quick to point this out. However, they too are not offering a logical argument or evidence for their side. So now I'm skeptical of both sides. And I don't know anything about them and I don't have any reason to really look deeper into either of them because I don't have any data or argument to get me to think that that would be something that I would want to do. Similar to my uh, exploration of God, if I had a logical argument and or data to consider, uh, then I might look further into the matter, but I'm not being given that, so I'm not going to look any further into the matter. I'm just going to be skeptical about it, and that's the end of that. It's up to them to educate me, not up to me to find out if I'm wrong. I've already done that for my own religion, so I'm done. On claims that I don't know anything about, like feminism, anti-feminism, men's rights, anti-men's rights, what have you, I don't know anything about any of these things. So, whoever is making the video needs to give me a reason why I should care and why I should consider their points valid. So far, no one has. Having said that, again, and hopefully in a way that makes sense to everybody, finally, I asked Steve Shines, who did a five stupid things about the men's rights movement, if he was going to rebuttal TLDR's video that responded to and rebuttaled his video. The answer is no, and not for the reasons that I thought but rather for other reasons that I want to explore in this video. Going to TLDR's video, which I'll link, and Steve Shine's video, which I'll link, I walked away from TLDR's video with the impression that the data shows that men are being abused. The data shows that men 
don't always get equal consideration in certain cases. The facts show, not just data, but outright facts, uh, like it's, I suppose you could call it data, that in regards to parenting issues, the dad of the child is treated differently than the woman is. So, we're not in a place where we're really equal, and perhaps being equal across the board is naive. Whoa, focus! Perhaps there are precedences and reasons why we would treat one gender differently than the other, but I don't know that that should be a thing, especially now that we're going to have same-sex couples. Uh, I, I think that, you know, we're going to have two men eventually get divorced and have a dispute over who gets the child. So, what do we do there? We're going to have two women that get divorced and we're going to have disputes over the child. And they could actually be the biological parent of that child. And then what? Then whose right is it? And, you know, all of this. It, it's, it, it's, it's problematic. Or potentially problematic. So, we're not at that place yet, I don't think, in society where we have ways to address the issues that we have. But the walk away I walked away from from TLDR's video is men really do suffer abuse, if nothing else. The data proved that to me. I did not walk away from that video with any indication that I should join any men's rights movements or that men's movements are a good thing because TLDR did not make that argument. He did not make that case and he presented me no evidence, no data, and no logic for me to think that I should care one way or the other about the groups. Rather, there is real data that shows that yes, men are being abused and yes, this isn't being reported on and yes, the feminist groups aren't saying anything about it. And yes, Steve Shines himself claimed to be ignorant of the data. Okay, well, TLDR's video gave him data. So, he should rebuttal that data with data of his own. He should show that TLDR was flawed in some way, shape, or form. No! According to Steve Shines, no. So, I don't use Facebook much, and on Facebook, I'm Dan Green. You know, you guys should know I'm Dan Green as my pretend name, um, and that that's not my real name. You know, my friends call me Dan Green, you call me Deconverted Man, okay? Uh, if you want to add me to Facebook, go ahead, but I don't use it much, so just know that. I asked uh, Steve Shines on Facebook, are you going to respond to the TRDL's rebuttal? He said, nope. I said, okay. Uh, let me let me point this at the screen so you know I'm not making this up, okay? <clears throat> are you going to respond to the rebuttal? Nope. Okay. And I'm not really happy about that. I would like I would think that you could find data and use logic to show your side was correct, but I guess your video was just for fun and not to be taken seriously. So it's five stupid things, it's just entertainment, right? If that's the case, then this makes perfect sense. No, it's mostly that I don't think people who defend hate groups are worth responding to. Huh? I didn't think that that was what TLDR did, but okay, now this is a different independent claim. So, I need to ask him about that. What evidence and or data do you have that men's movement is a hate group? Uh, this guy posted uh, that link, which I'll post in the video itself. I was going to ask why I should trust that link as a data source, but Steve said, that's a great start. That page is a great start, but you can also just take MRA's own word for it. Go to any prominent large chunk of text, the website, and uh, 
the you know uh, take your pick you'll come away with the impression that this is a rational if you come away and, okay so look at their thing and come away with the impression that this is a rational uh, movement and not sexism or a version of white nationalism then you and I probably can't have a reasonable conversation about this okay so in response to what does he have to prove that this is a hate group is go look and prove it to myself okay so I must look for the data to prove your points for you then quick Dan Prove to me that racism is a problem. Prove to me that the KKK are racist because I think they're just misunderstood. That's what you're asking me to do. It's absurd and insulting. In response to that, I had a response before he posted that response. So I'll read my response in the order that I responded to it and then I'll read the other response, okay? I said it was red herring and an appeal to emotion. So again, you will not just put up the data yourself to show that your ideas are right, but rather I must do the work for you to rebuttal a video targeted at you. And before I go on to the response to that, let me go up and read this comment because I did not respond to that comment, nor did I get a chance to ever respond to this. Uh, you asked for evidence that this is a hate group. My answer is that familiarity with the group would be enough evidence uh, or should be enough evidence for most people. So I have to become familiar with the group and educate myself. In response to my statement that it was red herring, it's not a red herring. I was asking for, uh, it's an analogy. If you have good argument for why the MRA should be treated with any more respect than a white national group or anti-gay group, I'd love to hear it. He's not addressing my question. I, I, I do not. I was asking to prove that your ideas are right, akin to when I ask a theist to prove that their idea is right. Rather than be given the data, they, the theist, will tell me to look at, look for myself, look for it myself. How is this any different? How is you saying, go look yourself, any different than that sort of treatment that I've had from theists? <clears throat> You're asking me for proof as though I'm making an extraordinary claim. No, I'm not. Again, I ask, if I made a video making fun of the KKK for being a bunch of hateful racists, would you post a comment to fan AI for the data? No, because I know about the KKK. I'll comment a little bit more on this red herring in a moment. I do not know anything about their men's rights movement. However, this red herring again does not address why not just make a video giving data Proving your points to show that men's rights movement is a bad thing, hate group, and give data that counters the data that TLDR brought up in his video. Because TLDR's video never addressed the issue of whether or not men's groups are good or bad things or hate groups or not. I did not get the impression from that. If that's what Steve Shines thinks that the video is doing, then all Steve Shines has to do is make a video and logically demonstrate to me that that is what TLDR was doing because I didn't walk away from TLDR's video thinking that I should join a men's rights movement or that they are not a hate group or that they are a hate group. He didn't even talk about that at all. I'm skeptical of the men's rights movements being a thing that are useful, but I'm not skeptical that men do have rights uh, and do get abused because TLDR gave a logical argument and data to support that argument. He didn't give any arguments that the groups are bad things. He didn't say anything about the groups. He talked about the issue independent of the group. And I think that that might be where we're having the fallout, the fallout here, possibly. <clears throat> so, and, and by the way, uh, if he made a video making fun of the KKK, which I think he did, 
and somebody asked him to prove that it was racist, it would be extraordinarily easy for him to do that. And there's no reason that he shouldn't do that. <clears throat> I already told you what you have to do. If you're honestly curious about why I would call that a hate group, uh, you're either going to do it or you're not. It's not my job to educate you. It's not my job to educate you. From square one on something that was plain as day from the start. This is the sort of response I get from theists. I don't have to prove that God exists. This is plain as day to me. Just go investigate it yourself. This is the same sort of bad logic. But okay. And then he says, and seriously, look up red herring. Now, I would like to respond to that. <clears throat> Unable to post comment. Try again. What? What? Why? <gasps> post has been removed. The post or object I was commenting on has been removed by its owner and can no longer be commented on. What? Really? Well, Steve Shines. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. You don't want to respond to TLDR's video because men's rights movements are a hate group. That might be true. I don't know. You didn't give me the data. You told me to look for myself. All you have to do is make that point in your own response video. I shouldn't do that for you. I don't, I don't, I don't, why? Why am I rebuttaling for you now? Oh, I'm not serious about this because I'm not looking into it. No, I'm, I'm serious about this. The data was given to me that men and women both have issues. Plus, I know from personal experience of watching the news and reading the news, and from the data, independent of my personal experience, that these issues aren't treated equally. We don't hear news reports about men getting beaten up often. Not as often as we do the women getting beaten up. That might be because it gets better ratings. It might be for any number of reasons, but we're not treating it equally. TLDR, the only thing, and by the way, if TLDR responds to this video, my mind will explode. If Steve Shines responds to this video, my mind will explode. Okay? Uh, I don't think that either one of them will, but I will be very happy if they do. I want them to make their points as clear, as concise as they can, give me a logical argument, and give me data. TLDR, as far as I'm concerned, did that. I don't know what TLDR's position is. I'm sorry that it's going out of focus. I forgot to hit focus. It's too late now to fix anything. This video is going to be too long anyways. I'm going to run out of recording time. So, sorry. Anyways, uh, TLDR, if you do watch this video and don't want to make a video response, at least post a text comment telling me, are you an equalitarian, an a, a equalist, a peopleist, a humanist? What are you in regards to men's rights, women's rights? Are you part of any men's rights movement groups or women's rights movement groups or any group at all? And should I support any of those groups or should I uh, say that those groups are bad? Um, and why? Please, give me all of that. Uh, because you didn't do that in your video, so I don't know if the men's groups are hate groups. And they might be. Maybe they are. Which is a separate issue from the data. Just as the feminists on YouTube who make bad arguments and bad and give no data for their ideas... Do not give me any reason to think that I should support feminism. Why do we need feminism? I don't know. I have no data or argument to go on. Well, TLDR didn't tell me that we don't need feminism and didn't tell me that we do need men's rights movements, but he did convince me that men do get abused and that this is not something that we hear a lot about. Because he had the data to support that, and he gave an argument that was logical, if not logically coherent, and logic plus data, that passes my test, okay? 
because I always ask for empirical evidence or repeatable tests. Empirical evidence data also fits the bill. I can independently verify that the data he provided was not biased in any way, shape, or form. So because of his logical argument that if I analyzed it, I might be able to find you know, a couple of logical fallacies in it, maybe. Um, because he gave me a, a concise argument, I can walk away from that video and say, okay, yeah, there are issues that aren't being addressed. And he brought up a point that the feminists don't seem to be addressing the issue either. And by and large, I saw that to be true on YouTube. Feminists on YouTube just say women need rights and men are bad. Okay, that's nice. That's your opinion. And until you give me data or an argument, that's all it is. And I get to be skeptical of it. And I have to be skeptical of it. And I'm neither pro-men's rights movements or anti-men's rights movements or pro-women's rights movements or anti-women's rights movements. I'm pro-equal. Which might be naive because there are some issues where equality might not be achievable. But nonetheless, all I can walk away from is TLDR gave me data, Steve Shines did not. TLDR said that Steve Shines would most likely say that he'll just say that he made a, uh, that he's supporting a hate group, but in no way, shape, or form did TLDR ever advocate any men's rights movement group in that video. TLDR, if you actually watch this video, please respond, text message, tell me what your position is in no uncertain terms or make a video explaining your message. Uh, what what are you? Uh, men's rights movement, women's rights movement, what groups should I be for, what groups should I be against and why? Are the men's rights groups all hate groups? Are there any that are good? I don't know. Tell me, show me evidence, give me quotes from the websites, show me pictures of the websites, give me a logical argument and I'll agree with you. Steve Shines, if you care about feminism, give me evidence, data, a logical argument to support it, to show that it's a real problem. Don't just tell me that it is. Show me that it is. If you're unwilling or unable to educate me on something that I should know about and I should educate myself about, then you have no empirical evidence, you have no data, you have no tests to offer, and you have no logically coherent argument. Thus, I must be skeptical of your conclusions. I have no choice in the matter. It's not about if it's an extraordinary claim. It's not about that, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe the men's rights groups are hate groups. Maybe that is true. You need to prove that. Then, independent of that, you need to show that women need better treatment than they're getting with data. Data that is trustable, that, that we can double check on, multiple sources of data equal to or greater than TLDR gave in his video. That's all, but you said that's not your job because I'm writing him off as, hate, as a defender of hate speech I don't know what to say to that, Steve Shines. You're you're wrong, and I wish you understood why you were wrong. But it's such an emotional topic. Maybe your emotions are clouding your logically logical ability to to see that there's a difference between a group and the data. Okay, the data for biological evolution is overwhelming. But here in America, belief or agreement with biological evolution is really low. And that's bad. That's really bad because that means we're stupid. Or at least the people that deny biological evolution are stupid. And what are we doing about that? I don't know. But that's a real thing and I have ample data to show it's a real thing. Right? So if I make a video saying five dumb things about evolution, I better have five dumb things about evolution. If I make a video, five dumb things about an, uh, anti-evolutionists, and then somebody makes a rebuttal video showing me that the data like TLDR vi video did, 
I'm gonna debunk the bleep out of it. Unless he's really got something. Because I care enough about the subject matter to do that. I'm not just gonna write him off. Every time I've had a video response to anything I've ever made, I have made a video response, if not a text response. Uh, there might be one or two exceptions to that. Uh, the only thing I can think of offhand is, is somebody told me that they wanted to debate me, but refused to debate on my channel. I had to debate on theirs, and refusing to debate on theirs was intolerant. And they wanted to debate creationism versus evolution. I said, that's not even a debate because evolution is true. I'm not going to debate that subject. I'm glad to debate other subjects. It's not my field. I, I'm not a biologist. So I would rather debate other things that I know about, not that. But it's already proven to me that it's true, so I don't want to debate you about it. Um, that's the only time I didn't respond because they didn't have a video that just had text directed at me um, and they didn't offer any data or arguments to convince me that I should argue against them anyways uh, they didn't make a direct video at me but it didn't just write them off I did my due diligence to respond to them as best as I could and I certainly didn't remove their post unless and until we have empirical evidence, data, repeatable test, or a logically coherent argument, we have to be skeptical of your conclusions, Steve Shines. TLDR, love to hear from you. Steve Shines, love to hear from you. Just post text where I was wrong, what I did wrong, what I said that was wrong. Demonstrate that I'm wrong, or make a video about it. If you're unwilling or unable to do that, I have to be skeptical of your conclusions. And that's all there is to it. And anyone that wants to say anything good, bad, or otherwise in response to this video, all you need to do is give me data and a logical argument to back that data. Or, if you don't want to give me data, give me a logically coherent argument. And then I'll investigate further. That's all. Take care. Thanks for listening. Stay skeptical, everybody. I don't have a good way to end this video. So, um, just, I already said the thing, oh, bleep, end the video. Bye, flame war begins. Uh.